Hey, uh, it's your bro. Hope you're doing well. And yeah, we're doing stuff with variables today in C. So sit back, relax, and well, enjoy the show. Welcome back to another video. So variables. Variables are allocated space and memory to store a value. We refer to a variable's name to access the stored value. That variable now behaves as if it was the value that it contains. But to create a variable, we first need to declare a name for a variable and then precede it with the type of data that we are storing. Creating a variable is done in two steps, declaration and initialization. So we need to first declare a variable to allocate some space and memory to store a value. So we need to precede our variable name with the data type of what we plan on storing within this variable. If I need to store a whole integer, we would precede our variable name with int, int for integer. And let's say that this is variable x. So this step is declaration. We are creating space and memory to store a value. And to actually store a value, that step is initialization. So we would take our variable name, x in this example, and set it equal to some value. So we declared that this variable is an integer. We can only store whole integers, maybe the number 1, 2, 3. So this is initialization, or you could combine these steps together and let's create int y, int y equals three, two, one. This is both declaration and initialization. So creating and storing a variable takes two steps, declaration and initialization. And in order to create a variable, you have to precede the variable name with the data type of what you plan on storing within that variable, int for a whole integer, but there's other data types too. Let's create some more variables. What about int age? With variable names, you're not limited to only just x and y. You can really name it whatever you want within some limitations, but make sure that the variable name is descriptive of what it does. So age is going to store an age. Let's say that I am 21 years old. So this is an integer, a whole number. If we need a number containing a decimal portion, that would be a float for floating point number. So one example of a variable that could contain a floating point number is a GPA, grade point average. Let's say that my grade point average is a 2.05. So this is a floating point number. It's a number that contains a decimal portion. We can also store single characters with the char data type, like you're pronouncing Charizard, and this will be a letter grade, let's say. Now to store a single character, we have to place it within single quotes when we initialize it. With my grade variable, what about a C? Like my average grade is a C. Remember everybody, Cs get degrees, so char stores a single character. Now, C isn't an object-oriented language, so there is no string data type because strings are technically objects. So if we would like to store like somebody's name, we need a series of characters. So we can create what is called an array. And to create an array, we would follow our variable name with a set of square brackets, and then assign this equal to some string of text, some series of characters. Place your series of characters within double quotes, and we can store more than one character. So this data type would be technically an array of characters. I'll create a whole separate video on arrays. This is basically how you can emulate a string. It's really just a whole combination of single characters. There's still a lot more data types than just these four. I thought I would cover just some of the more basic data types, just because in this video we're going to focus more on variables than data types. I'm planning a separate video just dedicated to data types because there's way more data types than just these four. There's bytes, there's doubles, there's longs, etc. Now, how can we display the value stored within a variable within a printf statement? Here's how. We have to use what is referred to as a format specifier. Let's say we have a printf statement, and I would like to display my age within a message. So let's create some text. You are age years old. If I would like to display the value contained within my age variable, wherever I would like to insert that value, I will place a format specifier, which is represented by a percent sign, and then follow this with a secret character that represents the data type of what we're inserting. So if I need to display my age variable, I will use a percent sign as a placeholder, followed by D for decimal. And then after my string of text outside of the double quotes, add comma, then the name of the variable you would like to insert at this placeholder. 
So at this location, I will insert age. And then let's try this. You are 21 years old. So let's try that again with a different variable. Let's say, let's go with name. I'll add a second printf statement. Printf. And then let's say hello. And I would like to insert my name here. So use a percent sign as a placeholder. It's a format specifier. Then to display a character array, that would be S for string. And then add comma name. Oh, then we may need to add a new line character to the end of these because I forgot. Let's try that again. Hello, bro. You are 21 years old. Okay, let's display our grade. Print F. Then within quotes, your average grade is then to display a character variable that would be percent %c for character. Then outside of our double quotes, add comma, the name of the variable we would like to insert at this location. So comma, grade. I think I'm just going to space these out a little bit. Okay, then I will add a new line character to the end of this. Okay, hello bro, you are 21 years old. Your average grade is C. Then to display a float, that would be percent %f. Print f. Your GPA is percent %f. Then I'll add a new line character. So follow this with comma, the name of the variable, GPA. Okay, your GPA is 2.05. So later on, we'll discuss more about format specifiers. There's ways that we can format how our variables are displayed. I just realized that I misspelled average twice. So yeah, those are variables. They are allocated space and memory to store a value. We refer to a variable's name to access the stored value. That variable now behaves as if it was the value that it contains. But to declare a variable, we have to state what type of data that we are storing within that variable. So yeah, those are variables. If this video helped you out, help me out by smashing that like button, leave a random comment down below, and subscribe if you'd like to become a fellow bro.